another one of my favorites is uh, former and now soon to be again Senator Dan Coats of Indiana. Uh, this is a guy, and I love the state of Indiana, and I just can't understand why they would return to the Senate a man who called Dan Quayle his mentor, who Dick Cheney, when Bush the, in his first term proposed uh, Senator Dan Coats as his Secretary of Defense, Dick Cheney vetoed him because he was too right-wing, because what Dan Coates said, what he wanted to do if he was running the military is he was going to wage a war on homosexuality in the military. Well, Dick Cheney had other wars in mind, as we know. Now this guy is back, and he's back uh, repeating you know, sort of the Republican mantra that the press was really only too, too happy to pick up. It's about jobs and the economy, jobs and the economy. And there's an idea that if you're talking about jobs and the economy, you can't also be talking about religious politics, the way that Sharon Angle just so clearly did in that in that ad. When for people like Dan Coates, uh, uh, I'm not actually as familiar with Ron Johnson, but if I look at some of the other new uh, winners, uh, new Senator Jerry Moran in Kansas, uh, Representative Tim Wahlberg in Michigan, uh, all these guys who have these sort of, these kind of, you know, the faux populist economic message, you scratch a little bit further, you go to their own rallies and they say, these economic ideas are religious. The idea of any kind of economic regulation is interfering with God's will. Remember, God chooses who's going to be rich, who's going to be poor. It's government's job, from their perspective, to stay out of the way. And that's not a story that the press picked up on because they were so enamored of the kind of uh, faux populism of the Tea Party.